All right, and joining us as always, ABC <laughs> Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. Jen Ashton. So let's take a look at the latest coronavirus case numbers from Johns Hopkins University. Now more than 139.1 million cases of coronavirus confirmed around the world with more than 565,000 American lives lost. As those vaccination numbers also rise, the CDC now reporting at least 198.3 million doses administered across this country. And we have been talking, Dr. Ashton, uh, about the possibility mm -hmm. of us, we might need a booster yep. down the road, but That's the correct. head of Pfizer now telling us we might need one in a year, in the next year, in the next year. So what do we make of what we heard? Well, right, this headline is getting a lot of attention. So here's what you need to know. First of all, if you look at the background, remember in the science of coronaviruses. Um, immunity to other coronaviruses, like the common cold, it doesn't last forever. So it does wane after months or years, depending on the strain. Remember at play here, complicating this picture, new variants. Right now, the vaccines are effective against them, but in the future, they may not be. It's another reason we may need boosters. So the CEO of Pfizer saying, and I quote, we may need a third dose within a period of 12 months. And we've heard the chief scientific officer of the White House say, they, quote, expect that we may have to boost. So when people hear this headline, this should not come as a surprise. Right, not a surprise, but I think people still want to understand what is the science behind why. 100%, and that's so important. So remember, 10 to 30% of common colds worldwide are caused by the family of coronaviruses. We've all had a common cold caused by a coronavirus, and we know most people get one more than one cold in their lifetime. Same principle. And also in terms of the vaccine, it's not just about antibody protection. Protection. There's also T cells, which are important. So again, that's why people in the clinical trials are being followed six months, nine months, up to two years, so that we know if at nine months, 12 months, that immunity starts to wane, that's when we'll need a booster. And it's also a reminder of why after we get vaccinated, we can't just willy-nilly go back to the way things were in 2019. We still have to be cautious. All right, Dr. Jen, thank you very you much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.